highlight time. Iowa State with the lead with three seconds left, but Case McCoy, you know what? Sometimes he's got the magic as well. John Harris get the mitts up. Randy Peschel like touchdown grab. Yeah, we didn't believe it either, but it looked good. So just like that, Texas takes the lead away going into the break. It got me thinking, Ricky Williams, we should flash back to 1998. I was going to say, this reminds me of something. <laughs> and what is that something, Ricky? Deja vu. Back in 98, playing Texas Tech, and we were down at the half, and Ooh, th throw the ball up to end the, to end the half, to go in halftime with the lead. Major drawing up the right play, the right time, and John Harris. He's had two huge touchdown grabs for Texas this season. Been waiting for that, Ahmad Brooks. Now we go to the third quarter. Anthony Farah. I think I will place this at the two-yard line. And he has done that a few times this year, Ahmad. Well, the spiral coming down was perfect, and it hit at that angle where it was going to kick back. And Anthony Farah has uh, proven that he's much more healthy than he was a year ago. So it's like my, you know. Look like my nine iron. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, right. Ooh, Bundridge. Not good. Yeah, that, that's your guy. That's Quentin Bundridge. 97 yards on a third and nine from the three-yard line. That would be the longest pass play in the history of Iowa State football. That was a great throw and Lady. catch, and it was a it was really a bad angle by McKell back here in the back, but sometimes you got to give the offense credit. That was a great throw and catch, and Duke Thomas just jumped it. Next thing you know, it's 98 yards and a new school record. We heard from Major. He liked the one-on-ones with his receiver. Mike Davis got that on third and two. He's got a first down. And keep in mind, he was a game-time decision. They cleared him to play, but did not start him. Want to take the cautious approach. This was huge. Seven first downs via penalty for Texas, the most in school history. You got to earn some of those, though, David. There's no question. I mean, Mike Davis is one of the best deep threats in the country, and clearly they showed him respect tonight. Number 34 right here for Iowa State. He was obviously scared to death of him. So you go 18 plays in which you call one run. And then three straight plays, you go to the ground, and it's Joe Bergeron, hey, Joe. three carries, 30 yards, and a touchdown. Yeah, and the, the plan worked. You heard Coach Brown talking about they had to throw the ball to run it, and throwing the ball allowed them to run it late in the game when they really needed to. Joe Bergeron, big boy getting in, putting Texas up 24 to 20. Late in the third quarter, Kirby, Kirby Vanderkamp punts it away. Jackson Shipley, he's got himself the football. Hmm. Sherrod Evans, unfortunately, has to be helped off the field with an apparent knee injury. We go to the fourth quarter, 13 nice minutes move. left. Yeah, no Joe Bergeron, he, ah. he's got those shakes, but he loses the football, Ricky. Yeah, so as a back, when you're, when you're a big back like Joe and you like to fight for extra yards, you gotta, you gotta cover the ball up. Or if you fumble, you gotta get it back. Get <laughs> the football <laughs> back. So will Iowa State do something with it? Sam Richardson making sure that they do. You know, Mac Brown, earlier in the week, he compared that number 12 to a certain number 12 that played quarterback at the University of Texas. Said there were some cult like qualities. And, you know, you got a running back to help you out with Jamal Charles speed, perhaps? Aaron Wimberly, and it, it's working. So they take the lead, and wait, they, they got some running backs with some pop, too. You're making the ooh face him on. Yeah, he was just rolling, and, and Wimberly is known for finishing off those runs. And then once again, you see Richardson using his feet to move the chains. He did that a number of times tonight. All momentum right now, the way of Iowa State. When I think you talk, when we've been talking about identity so much, Iowa State has clearly built their identity around this, around this uh, running back Wimberly. It's only a second game starting at tailback, but he's a stud. And that was huge. It was a yeah. second and one at the four, and they forced a field goal. So that gives them a chance. Jonathan Gray, which button is that in the old school <laughs> PlayStation? That's circle. That's circle. <laughs> and, it, and it still works. Case McCoy, a little stretch the field. Why not get it again, David? Well, it's a great play call. Hey, go deep and let's get a pass interference and get 15 yards. <laughs> Just the way <laughs> it they works. threw it up. That's brilliant. You gotta love fourth quarter football. You know, all the adrenaline's gone. You're tired. You have, you have nothing left, and it's just playing on pure emotion, pure heart. And just one mistake can affect the game. Jonathan Gray making a nice play, and he's also picking up more yardage with a little penalty. First and 15. This is after you have a false start. Jonathan Gray scrambles. Great play call too. Send a man in motion. Get the oh. Ooh. Oh! Oh, goodness. Sorry to interrupt, but oh! 
Case McCoy. He gets it back, though, David. Yeah, let's, if in doubt, just go for the P.I. <laughs> it's worked. It's, it's worked it, so far. It's worked. <laughs> this time it's Greg Daniels. Uh, look. Look at there. Asking you shall receive. Give me the flag. He gets it. Okay, so that's been crazy, right? You ain't seen nothing yet. Because Jeremiah George says, I got this football. Whoa. And, guys, this really could have gone either way. Whoa. I mean, I mean, I know they blew it dead, but there's probably a lot of games that that's uh, six points the other way. There's a flag in there somewhere. Well, I find it interesting that, they, you know, usually, a lot of the times when they talk about a call that's reviewed, they'll give a, a brief explanation. And this, they just said the call stands. No! Hold on to the ball, big fella. I don't so like when backs leap like that. I, 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 leaving your feet to me is a bad sign there at the goal line. So give, give it the case. Give it to your senior leader. He's got and the swagger. senior leader delivers for the first time in his career. 75-yard drive, 10 plays. How do you like me now? Still, though, an opportunity for Iowa State. They get pressure, but that converts to a first down. So they just need to get in range for a field goal, but you're not going to do that. The closers, the bookend, Cedric Reed, Jackson Jeffcoat, ball game. We're going home. You're happy. You're not overly pleased in the style and the way this game was played, but you find a way to win the game, Ricky. Well, I think right now you don't really care how, you know, especially True. especially the way the game went. You know, I think I think had they been winning the whole time, it's different. But you know, they they had that the fear in their heart that they might they might leave there with a loss and what that would be like. And instead of kind of putting their head down and, and fearing that, they stepped up and made sure it did not happen.